All right, so charging a heat pump is one of those things that you would rather do in cooling mode. A lot of manufacturers tell you to do it uh, by weight, and of course that makes a lot of sense, but we're still required to check a system and make sure that it's working properly. If you're there for basic repair, motor, capacitor, whatever, you've gotta know that the system's working properly. And so we go over a little bit about how to do that on a carrier system. If you have manufacturer-specific information, that's what you wanna go off of. You wanna go off what the manufacturer shows. But in some cases, there's some rules of thumb you can, you can follow. I'm gonna do a different video on that if you absolutely have no information. But in this video, Jesse's gonna review with you how to use the carrier manufacturer information in order to check the charge on a heat pump. So we're gonna run the system in heat mode, get the pressures. Currently outside, it's right around 57 degrees. Indoor temperature is right around 70 degrees. So we're gonna look at the chart for this particular carrier unit and check it out. This one here, the middle portion, like we discussed, is our common suction line. So you're gonna hook up your suction line to that one. Because the metering device is right here on the carrier systems, your piston is located right here. This is not a valid test for your liquid line. That being the case, on a carrier system, you're going to hook up to your suction port, which in heat mode is actually your discharge port. All right, we're gonna fire it up. So here is our charging chart for heat mode. Our indoor temperature, here you select a unit. This particular one is a two ton system. Our indoor temperature is 70 degrees. Our outdoor temperature is right about here, about 57, uh, between 60 and 57. So if you scroll down, based on our tonnage and indoor temperature, our suction should be approximately 130 degrees and our discharge pressure should be right around 374. We'll give this about five, 10 minutes of runtime. All right, so it's been running for about 10 minutes. Um, our outdoor temperature is about 55. Dry bulb, about 50. Wet bulb, uh, a little bit lower than that. So our outside temperatures are really closer to this one here, which on our indoor temperature, that would put our suction at 115 in our discharge, right around uh, heating up inside a bit too, above 70 degrees, but you know, right around that 350 mark. Right now our pressures are 112 over 373. Everything's working pretty good. The last thing we wanna do is force it into a defrost cycle, so that way we can see that operation.